highlighted some of the mistakes that have been made and we're moving to correct them. But you know, we all have a lot of sayings in this building. And one of the sayings is don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Now the water may be a little dirty, it may be a little dirty, but let's clean the water, but not throw the baby out because these pensions have been earned fair and square. They've been done at the bargaining table. The results of decades of work and commitment to the state of California. These folks are not the enemy. These are Californians. So in terms of looking at the solution and dealing with this issue, a concern I have candidly is another saying we have in this building, which is called the camel's nose under the tent. I had to look that one up when I got here. What the hell does that mean? It basically means you let the nose under, then the whole body of the camel is right behind it. Last thing you want is the whole camel in your tent. That's my concern about 961 is we're talking about collective bargaining, having the elimination of public pensions. What's next? Wages, you know, benefits, so forth and so on. So I think that in terms of uh, adding to the debate, Mr. Monster, you surely have. Uh, adding to the emotion around the debate, it is emotional. I don't blame that on you or anybody else. But in terms of finding the solution, I think it's going to be done with calmer voices, with a more comprehensive approach, bringing as many people as want to to the table to negotiate, to sit down, hack this out, work it out. And I think we're going to find really good solutions. And the solutions aren't going to be all done at one time. It's going to be a process. So looking at the bills, and as I shared earlier, there were some bipartisan bills we passed together today relative to pension reform. There's some where we've had differences. But in terms of the move forward, I think we're really going to get there. And uh, so it's been, has there been a motion for the bill? No. Is there a motion? There's a motion. Is there a second? You oh, can second, second, yes. Okay, it's been <laughs> thank you. Thank it's you. been moved and seconded. Uh, roll call, please. Oh, uh, well, did I get closing comments? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, please. And do. I'd like to ask uh, Ms. Frisch, she had a, just a brief comment. Yeah, this is to Assemblyman Ma. I did not criticize the unions. Um, I criticized actually management and the pension systems. If you if you look closely at my testimony, my criticism of collective bargaining is that the managers st stand to gain directly from the benefits that they're negotiating with the unions. It wasn't criticizing the unions. I just want to make that clear. Well, I mean, the managers represent the people. And if we're going to criticize, I mean, we can continue to criticize all the people that managed all the financial institutions, all the people, you know, that got us in this mess in the first place. So um, I just want to be fair that um, I, I don't agree with you. Um, I think the managers are um, negotiating and representing uh, their workers. Um, so I think that is their job. Mr. Monster, yeah. for your close. Yes, thank you very much. And I will be brief. Um, first of all, thank you to everyone here for, for hearing my, um, my concerns and my bill. Uh, I do appreciate public employees. Um, I, I'm not here today to criticize them, and I, I want to make that clear. Uh, this is about a broken pension system and, and union control. Uh, and also a comment was made um, about the, the unions being the bit, biggest uh, contributor to alleviate some of our budget concerns. I would disagree with that. I would say it's the taxpayers who are really the biggest alleviators of some of our budget concerns. They've really uh, put in quite a bit. Um, but in short, AB 961 seeks to end collective bargaining for public employee pension benefits. Uh, collective bargaining under, under this bill for, uh, for wages, salaries, and other benefits would not be affected. Uh, reforming California's pension system is the first step in getting California back on track. And as I mentioned uh, earlier, the majority of opposition I have received has come from powerful union bosses who benefit the most from the status quo. It's interesting that they're here today fighting to oppose uh, ending uh, collective bargaining, but at the same time they're here today on other bills uh, arguing to find ways around it uh, when they don't get the, what they want through the collective bargaining process, and I think that says it all. But the majority of support has come from my fellow rank and file members who realize that this reform is a necessity for, sus for the sustainability of California's pension system. And with that, I would like to close and urge your aye vote. Thank you. Thank you. Um, members, and I'm sure this is not lost on Mr. Mansour, uh, if you're a chair of a committee, 
you can do a lot of things to manipulate the agenda, what bills we're gonna hear, what bills we're not gonna hear. As you can see, Mr. Mansoor, your bill is heard in the light of day, in the public process, and we wanna make sure that people know they'll have that opportunity to bring their points of view forward. I appreciate it. It's good to have folks support, opposition. Let's find out where people are coming from. So with this, I'm not gonna support it, but would ask for a roll call vote. The motion is due passed to the Appropriations Committee. Furtani? No. Furtani, no. Mansoor? Aye. Mansoor, aye. Allen? No. Allen, no. Harkey? Ma? No. Ma, no. Wykowski? Bill's on call. Allen, more people will be coming back to vote. Thank, Thank you. you. My turn? Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Mansoor, if you could take over for me, please. Sure. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Bertani, yeah. uh, item two, uh, AB 340. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair and members. AB 430 will address the abusive pension spiking practices and put an end to the practice of double dipping. Recently, the benefits provided by California's public pension system has been tainted by a few individuals who have taken advantage of the system. This is in part due to the 37 Act, it's very broad and general definition of compensation earnable, the amount of which a member's pension is calculated. In these counties, some public employees have taken advantage of the situation to include items in their compensation package that spike their final compensation to create vastly increased pension checks for themselves. Additionally, the practice of having someone retire on Friday and come back to work on Monday and being able to collect a full retirement benefit along with a full paycheck is something the public simply will not tolerate any longer. Allowing the double dipping to continue only adds to the growing public concern over the pensions being received by our good public employees. I have with me several witnesses to speak in favor of the bill and to answer any questions you may have I respectfully urge and I vote. Okay, uh, uh, witnesses in support. Mr. Chairman and members, Terry Brennan on behalf of SEIU California. In support of this bill, we talked a little earlier about a bill that restricted uh, overtime and accrual. This bill does a similar thing in a, a much uh, more surgical manner. Um, it's respectful of agreements that have been reached and current law, case law that exists in California. Um, in terms of the conversation about collective bargaining, overtime is not a sub, uh, inclusion of what's included in final compensation or comparable in the case of 37 Act is not a subject of negotiation. It's a subject of statute and case law. It's not something we can bargain about. There are other things, there are other kinds of pay uh, that can be included, but it's a decision by the retirement board or this legislature. It's not something I can go to the table and negotiate. Um, I would suggest that um, you rely on someone like uh, Mr. Allen, who has uh, years of experience dealing with uh, employment law to sort of make a distinction between what is in the scope of collective bargaining and what is not. Uh, when we come forward and support restrictions on what is not in collective bargaining, it's because this is the venue for it. It's not the collective bargaining table. Um, with that, we are supporting the sensible restrictions along the lines of the MA bill of last year, I spoke to some of my members who are resistant to some of this, including the rolling forward of accrual, and I stood up in a meeting and raised my hand and said, how many of you want to pay for that person's retirement benefit? No hands went up. That's exactly what you're doing when you allow somebody to roll forward years of accumulated leave and, and credit and bring it forward. There have been no contributions by the employer, no contributions by the employee. It's a direct spike of your pension. 
Um, and there are similar things in here like auto allowance, meal allowance, and travel reimbursements, and things like that that are not considered compensation and pay in anyone's mind except for those who want to abuse the system and, and personally pad their, their benefit. For that reason, we're supporting uh, the chairman's approach. Thank you. Tim Yarian representing a lot of cops and firefighters. I think in the um, the last bill, I would agree with Mr. Mansoor that we need pension reform. I think that's about the only thing in his bill that we would agree with. I think that this bill is a reasoned, rational approach that looks at real problems, not manufactured problems, and addresses them in a reasonable way. Uh, this is the way we're going to get business done uh, in a constructive, rational manner. Uh, and for these reasons, we support Mr. Furatani's approach and give him a two thumbs up and thank him for taking this issue, a very complex and difficult issue, and coming up with a very constructive solution. Urge your eye vote for the bill. James Norman, on behalf of the American Federation of State County Municipal Employees, we also give Mr. Furatani two thumbs up um, for this bill and uh, request your I vote. Jai Sukhpasa with the California School Employees Association. While we don't have a formal position yet, we do believe that this is a moving in the right direction in addressing the um, pension issue. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone in opposition? Uh, members? Oh, I'm sorry. Good morning. Uh, Faith Conley from California State Association of Counties. We have an oppose unless amended uh, position on this bill. We do generally support the author's effort to curb uh, pension abuse, but we would like to see the bill amended to remove the provision that would prohibit a retiree from returning to work for 180 days. So, thank you. Thank you. There's a motion. Is second. A, and a motion and a second. And I will just say I appreciate Mr. Furtani for your work on this. Uh, I believe it does uh, move us in the right direction. I see it as an adjustment that closes a loophole. I still think I don't know that it's complete reform, but it does move us in the right direction. I appreciate that. Uh, Ms. Mo. Thank you. Um, regarding the 180 days, um, we faced this last year, and if someone is going to retire, then retire. If they want to continue to work, then they should continue to work and not take retirement. Um, you know, we had an extensive, whether it's Samidian or myself, Senator Samidian, um, and Ms. Harkey was here as well, uh, right? I mean, if you want to work part-time, well, then don't take the pension until you fully retire. Retirement is for retirement, for people that don't have any other source of income. So I stand strong on the 180-day um, rule, so. Okay, there's a motion and a second. Any other uh, comments, questions? Um, Mr. Furtani, did you have a uh, final? Yeah, so motion? thank you very much, Mr. Mansoor. Uh, I was remiss in not making the point that this bill that you have before you is really working on the work that Fiona Ma did with her bill last year. And it's been a process because of so many being affected by pensions and all the nuances that we have to deal with that we've had to get fits and starts and trial and error and certain things we've had to work on. So I really want to thank Fiona because you took the brunt of the criticism last year, but to get it to this point where I think it's really workable. And the point uh, about the issue of the 180 days, I understand I come from school district, community college districts. Sometimes we need the people that want to retire to continue to do a job until we find a replacement. I just think it's going to take better planning this no longer is going to be something that people can do because it just makes it tough on all public employees if we have certain practices that people deem as sort of being tainted or they just don't pass the smell test. And I understand the reality in a lot of situations, we're just going to have to work to make that more functional so that we don't have this obvious double dipping that keeps getting referred to in articles about how the pension system is corrupt or bankrupt. So that's a part of it. I would point out that on page four, we have, and this is with the help, and I really want to thank staff, Karen in particular. 
where in terms of looking at it, rather than just doing broad strokes, we list, literally list, the things that can't be part of the compensation package. And I think that this is pretty clear, uh, as Mr. Monsoor stated, it's a step in the right direction, an end all be all in terms of solution, not at all. But I've really appreciated the bill that Mr. Allen had about holidays, there's a lot of things that we're doing, and we're going to put it all together in one comprehensive whole. I urge and I vote. Thank you. Yes, I, I, I'd like to thank uh, Assemblymember Furtani for his work and uh, Assemblymember Ma. I, I know this has been a long collaborative process. Um, I'd request that I be added as a co author. Thank you. Thank you. Secretary, can call for, for the roll, please. The motion is due pass. Furtani? Yes. Furtani, aye. Mansoor? Aye. Mansoor, aye. Allen? Aye. Allen, aye. Harkey? Aye. Harkey, aye. Ma? Aye. Ma, aye. Wykowski? Thank you. Okay, that brings us to item three, uh, Assembly Bill 344. Is there any more water back there? Yeah. That's why I'm not on my A game today. Normally not this puppy. Longanelli <laughs> versus Holland in Sacramento. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair and members. AB 344 is another bill that arose out of the City of Bell scandal, which brought to light an area of CalPERS law that needs to be changed. AB 344 prohibits CalPERS from granting exceptions that allow a salary increases to count towards retirement that were provided to an individual, but not to all other members of the same group or class. In addition, AB 344 also eliminates the ability of a CalPERS employer to request that a retired annuitant serve without, reinstate, without reinstatement beyond the current 960 hour limit. Under current law, increases in compensation granted to an employee who is not in a group or class is limited to the average increase in compensation for all employees who are on that same membership classification. This prohibition was added to the law to eliminate the ability of high level managers to inappropriately spike their retirement allowances during their final years of employment. Even though CalPERS never granted an exception to the group or class rule in the City of Bell case, removing the provision from current law will make sure that that option never exists in the future. AB 344 strives to strengthen retirement stability and predictability for both employers and employees. I have with me several witnesses and I urge an eye vote. Thank you. Uh, witnesses in support. Mr. Chairman and members, Terry Brennan on behalf of SEIU California. Um, in the city of Bell case, this, is, this current law is precisely the reason why taxpayers won't be on the foot, uh, won't have to foot the entire bill. Um, some of that compensation will be excluded from, from the final compensation calculation and they won't be receiving the entire amount. Having the ability for the pension system to exempt any one of those people or anybody in the future from that uh, would be a travesty and uh, this is a companion piece of the prior bill. Um, we support it wholeheartedly. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman and members, Paul Curry on behalf of the Correctional Supervisors Organization of California, we are strongly in support of the measure. I would like to take this opportunity though to point out one thing about the 180 960 rule is that in the peace officer category that is going to have an extremely um, devastating impact on public agencies in that after after six months peace officers lose their ability uh, as they, they lose their standing as a peace officer it's not like a, a an annual uh, thing if you do not uh, if you're not employed by a, a public agency for six months time, you are no longer a peace officer, which then requires you, if someone wants to hire you, they have to go back and do a complete background and everything else that costs 
upwards to $25,000 just to uh, bring someone back to sit as an interim period of time or to do a part-time job. So it's really difficult. I know it's a tough, tough situation. We want to have uh, people working who are working and all that, but we just want to point that out that that is a, an issue, but it hasn't stopped us from supporting the bill. Uh, Scott Blackledge, Public Employees Retirement System in support. Josh Sopranza with the California School Employees Association also in support. Okay, any uh, one speaking in opposition, please come forward. Good morning, Mr. Chair and members. Paul Smith with the Regional Council of Rural Counties representing the Boards of Supervisors of 30 rural counties. Um, the, as the analysis noted, uh, we do have an opposed and less amended position. The, uh, m the amendments we seek pertain to the 960 hour rule, not the other portions of the bill. I want to make that very clear. Um, we're very concerned about that uh, 960 rule uh, in rural county land because we have a number of retired annuitants, uh, who many who are certificated, many are specialized who need to petition uh, CalPERS for that extension. Uh, we fear not being able to have that tool will dramatically reduce our ability to deliver vital services, particularly if this legislature and the state moves forward with major realignments to counties. We're also just not aware of any abuses. I think as uh, Mr. Fortani mentioned, uh, the city of Bell never was granted this um, exception. Um, and we're just not aware of any abuses of the 960 hour rule. It's a very, very small pool of, of individuals who seek that. It's a very small pool of individuals who receive that from PERS. Um, we would ask that that provision of the bill uh, be removed and we would remove our opposition. Uh, anyone else in opposition? Uh, hello, Natasha Carr on behalf of the League of California Cities. Um, we also are opposed unless the bill is amended for the reasons uh, my county colleague mentioned. Thank you. Faith Conley with the California State Association of Counties, also in opposition. Thank you. Anyone else? All right, uh, members? Yes, Mr. Allen. And then Mr. Forecast. Yes, Assembly Member Furtani. Well, what are your thoughts regarding this 960 restriction that the opponents are bringing up? Uh, so often with our legislation, there are always that issue of unintended consequences. I commit to really working with and our staff will work with of uh, the individuals that just came forward around particular situations. I think a part of it as well is in terms of public, how the public is viewing what we're doing. So we're trying to correct things, but not at the expense of being able to make government work. So we'll keep working with them to try to remove the opposition so it makes sense for them. I know they're trying to make their system work. We're trying to make the system work. So I think we can find that compromise. We'll work to do that. Thank you. Move to Madam, Mr. Vice Chair. There's a motion. Is there a second? There's already been a oh, okay. We already had that. Any additional comments, uh, Mr. Furtani? Uh, thank you very much, members. Uh, I appreciate all the different bills we've been discussing and debating. This is another piece of the puzzle. As I said, it's not totally refined. We will continue to work on it, and I would urge and I vote. Okay. Uh, the secretary can call the roll, please. The motion is due passed to the Appropriations Committee. Furtani. Yes. Furtani, aye. Mansoor? Aye. Mansoor, aye. Allen? Aye. Allen, aye. Harkey? Aye. Harkey, aye. Ma? Aye. Ma, aye. Wykowski? Aye. Wykowski, aye. The bill is out. Okay. Uh, Thank is that you. our final bill? Yeah. Are we going to? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Wendy, how do you want to do it? I'll just do it. Okay, go ahead, please. Item number six, AB 646, absent members, Harkey? No. Harkey, no. Ma? Mm -hmm. Item number six, AB 646, Atkins? Aye. Ma, aye. Wykowski? Aye. Wykowski, aye. The bill is out. Item number 17, AB 1269, Mr. Portentino. Absent members, Harkey? Aye. Harkey, aye. Ma? Aye. Ma, aye. The bill is out.
Item number four, AB 451, Hall. Absent members, Harkey. Harkey, no. Ma. Ma, I. The bill is out. Item number 16, AB 1248, Wayso. Absent members, Harkey. Harkey, no. Ma. Ma, I. The bill is out. Item number nine, AB 875, Donnelly. Absent members, Harkey. Harkey, I. Ma. Ma, I. Wykowski. Okay, Ma from. Uh, could you give my recommendation to her? No. Ma, no. Wykowski. Wykowski, no. The bill fails. AB 15. AB 1247, Fletcher. The chair recommends an aye. Harkey. Harkey, I, Ma. Wykowski, Wykowski, I. The bill is out. Uh, with that one, Fiona, uh, Nathan accepted the amendments from the committee. Okay. Yeah. All right, then I. Ma, I. Item number 10, AB 933, Allen. The chair recommends an I. Harkey. Harkey, no. Wykowski. Wykowski, aye. The bill is out. Item 18, AB 1320, Allen. Furitani. Which one was it? Uh, aye. Furitani, aye. Harkey. Yeah. Harkey, no. Wykowski. Wykowski, aye. Item number 11, AB 961, Mansour. Harkey, I, and Wykowski. No. Wykowski, no. The bill fails, and reconsideration has been requested. Okay, that's it. Members, thank you very much. Appreciate it.